let's see how we can subtract using some different ways. We'll do one using models. So if we have 18 minus 11, we could actually make 18 with one of the tens and eight of the units. So by doing this, we can then see what we need to take away or subtract. If we're subtracting 11, that's actually made up of one unit and one ten. So we could take away that one unit and take away one of the tens. So by doing that, what we see is there's seven units left. So using models is a great way to work out the subtraction. Now bridge to 10 means we work back to the number 10. If we have 14 as our total and we need to subtract or take away five, what we could do is use models again, but this time we're going to use a 10 frame. See these 10 frames, I'm going to make 14. I'm going to use apples. So I've got 10 apples and another four apples. Well, if I'm taking away five, what I do is I first take away however many I've got to get back to the next 10. So you can see I've got 10 apples there and four apples there. So even though I take away five, I'm first going to take away four apples and then I have to take away one more so that I'm taking away five altogether. See what we do there? We take away four and that takes us back to the number 10. And then we have one more to take away. So 14 minus 5 equals 9. Now we could have double digits as well. And even though there's more than one way to do these, I'm going to show you the main way we do it. If we have 32 and we're taking away 13, let's make a model again. That's three tenths. So let's have three groups of 10 apples or 30 apples. And then we've got another two. So in our 10 frame, we only have two apples. Now we're taking away 13. That's one of the tens and three of the units. Now I'm going to bridge to 10, but it doesn't mean the number 10. It means the tens. So instead of taking three in one go, I'm going to take away two first and then one more. So that means I'd have 30 and then I'm going to take away that one more it would give me 29. But remember, we're not finished because we also have to take away one of the tens. And when we take away that 10, we've got 19. What about if we do one without models? 47 minus 28. Let's actually take away the tens first this time. We've got 47, and if we subtract two tens, that's like subtracting 20. 47 minus 20 is 27. But remember, we still need to subtract those eight units. So let's take what we've got left, which is 27, and subtract eight. Ah, but the eight is bigger than the seven that we have in the units place. So we're going to bridge to 10. We're going to go back to 20 and then keep going. So 27 minus eight, we're going to do it in two parts. We're going to work out 27 minus seven because that takes us to 20. And then we're going to take away one more because remember we're taking away eight and we've only taken away seven so far. So we've got 20, take away one or subtract one equals 19.